the brand no way road of the dead the great escape highway to hell dead on time police state options this is a game it's on the front page of newgrounds i thought it was gonna suck but it's actually kind of cool and i like it freaky little zombie looking thing what is the point of this game well i believe we are in evans city and we are well, let's go ahead and click this and see if it, uh, where do you want to start? Oh, jeez. I guess we'll start at the beginning. And watch this really cheesy, uh, opening clip. It's very, it's much too long, I'm going to say. Uh, it takes way too long to get where it wants to go. And also, I can trace car pictures out of the magazine, too. Actually, they probably didn't trace it out of a magazine. Probably just used huh? a uh, cool This photo is an emergency there. alert oh, system broadcast. This is not a test. Hello, citizen. Due to unforeseen and unexplained events, the city has been quarantined. Please stay home. Lock all your doors and windows. Stay out of sight till further notice. Repeat, it is crucial that you stay in your home and out of sight. Martial law is now in effect, and anyone trying to exit the city will be shot on sight. This is not an exercise. Stay home till further notice. Whoa, this is bad. This is not an isolated cave. started walking! Get up for the base! Sector C was already overwhelmed! What do you want us to do? They're freaking dead and still walking, goddammit! Get a hold of yourself! We're trained to handle anything! So stick to your job! Walking dead! dead. Shit! I'm not staying here. I gotta make it through the highway. It's probably my best bet to get out of the city. And that took about two minutes to say, There are zombies! Let's drive away! Gosh, I also love the fact that it's like they give you the uh, emergency tone. This is not a test. And then air raid sirens. And then if you, you know, if you are caught outside your house, you will be shot. They don't do stuff like that. I played it a little bit. You can see I've purchased two tire upgrades. Uh, they start you off on this screen, by the way, with no points and all the upgrades available. So, Perception, I haven't upgraded anything but tires, but Perception lets you see things further off in the distance. Body Armor gives you personal Body Armor to uh, de decrease the damage from bolts and explosions. Firearm gives you a pistol. When these guys uh, sit on the hood of your car, you can shoot them off. Windshield increases the uh, damage rating of your windshield. Engine makes you go faster. Bumper allows you to withstand more damage from hitting things. Tires, my favorite part, uh, give you control over your car. You try and turn as you're playing this game without any tire upgrades, and you just don't go anywhere. But now that I, the first tire upgrade is good, I just bought the second one. And then horn. <laughs> it gets the civilians out of your way and attracts the zombies. Let's go. So here it's telling you, uh, the first time it tells you a couple things, now it's telling you how to use the horn. Uh, the f first time it tells you how to drive, the second time, it tells you how to use your windshield wiper, which gets the blood off. All highway units are in position. And the entire time you play, and actually that might be a little bit loud, so I'm going to... Uh-oh, gotta click back into the screen if I want to keep going. Oh, jeez, I need to do this. I need to get... <laughs> I'm gonna die. I might as well just die. Okay, that maybe will do it now. <laughs> I hit that guy at, like, five miles an hour. So, yeah, see, this is the guy where he gets stuck up on your windshield. If you hit something, he goes off, but hitting something definitely screws your car up. You can see I'm on fire. Once you're on fire, you, will, you are going to blow up. This game is just so fast-paced. I don't have it. I can't talk about anything before something else happens. All right, 
this right here, this blue thing. Oh, I just barely missed it. Just ahead of me, there was like a blue barrel. If you hit that, it's filled with water, and it puts the fire out so you don't blow up. Ah. Press space party. Cars, continue. people, and chaos. That's what I must expect. Yeah. I just can't crash my car out there or I'm dead. Yeah, except that when you're dead, you just come right back to your garage. I don't understand. All right, I want the bubble. The streets will be chaotic. Wow. Need to get through. It does actually upgrade the picture here because I didn't notice before there definitely wasn't a spike on my uh, hubcap. Punching F. I didn't know you could punch. I thought you could only use. Yeah. See here, we're gonna hit this uh, blue thing, and you can see it lets out water. That will put the fire out on your car, so that you don't blow up. Traffic is stopped in the city exit. I didn't know you could punch. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a weak punch. You'd think you'd punch with the other hand, not the hand that's actually steering the car. Oh, so, what was I going to say? Okay, I thought that the uh, fight key was only for... Get out of my way! Honk, honk. Ooh, look at that. I think the zombies only end up on your windshield if you hit them pretty much dead center with your hood. If you're smacking them at the corners of your car, it doesn't seem to, they don't seem to be able to pop up on top, like, that. At least I hope they don't pop up on top, because that would mean the game is totally cheating. Ugh, ow! Dang, that hurt. Um, keep an eye out, since I really can't while I'm driving. Tell me, ow, dude, dude! Better use my windshield wipers. These are probably the best windshield wipers ever. Have you ever tried to use your windshield wipers to get blood off of your windshield? It does not work so well. You lose a lot of points for hitting civilians. This game is so simple, and, yet it's so, and it's so stupid and silly, but it's kind of addicting. Because you really feel like you have a chance of getting through here. Um, you don't encounter an incredible, you know, like a completely blocked off road, and especially once you get a few tire upgrades, even just the first tire upgrade, you can move a lot better. I think I want to play this with my, uh, I want to play with my controller rather than the keyboard. Boom! Look at that. You can actually get the, uh, the zombies and the human soldiers to disintegrate when you hit them. Ow! Just like that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We're a oh, this is cool. here. I would like it a little bit better if each time when you reached a checkpoint, that was where you would stop and make upgrades rather than continuously going until you die and then suddenly uh, going back to your original garage to upgrade your car. Because it just doesn't make much sense that way. Alright, what I think I was trying to say earlier is try and keep your eye out for a health bar. Because uh, I... Oh, man, look at that. It took me all the way across the road. Because I haven't found anything that really indicates how well my car is doing. Uh, let alone myself, although I don't seem to get injured that easily. But my car definitely does get hurt somehow. I like... Uh, what game was it? There was a game where you play it, you're in a car, and you're smashing stuff with your car, but it had like a life game for your car, so you knew how uh, close you were to dying. Was it Burnout? Did Burnout have a life game for your car? It might be. Take that. Oh man, the artwork in this game, by the way, uh, I like. It's put together pretty well. Quit shooting me. Uh, yeah. Get off my car. Hood Shaker, 25 points. Alright. I think I just got an achievement, but I was too busy watching the road to see what it said. So what do we want to talk about real quick? I want to mention that I did something incredibly stupid today. And that's actually the reason why I chose to play this game. And that was, I kind of, I had a test, uh, if you remember yesterday, I said I had a test this morning. I put off studying for that test until literally the very last minute, 
and uh, I don't think I did poorly on the test since I've talked to the other kids in my class, but when I normally take 15 to 30 minutes to take a test, I was in this test for over an hour because I had not put the study that I was supposed to into it, and so I, I was reading these questions and I was totally dumbfounded. And uh, I'd never want to be that way again. But especially because uh, of what I'm studying. This isn't like I went to English class and I forgot to do the reading assignment or something. This was me neglecting to study my pharmacy. And that is... That's bad. That's very bad because I'm going to be a pharmacist and I'm going to be responsible for people's health. So I was looking for a game to punish myself. And I saw this on the front page of Newgrounds, and I said, wow, that game looks stupid, let's play that. And I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it, but of course that plan backfired. Boom! Take that, you jerks. I didn't know what those were, but those were apparently uh, zombies feeding on corpses. Ah, take that. I think you, the game expects you to get all the way to the end now. Oh! Oh, I killed a civilian on accident. That wasn't my intention. Let me see if I can find a, uh, a blue barrel to put out this fire. I don't think there is one. Oh, there's one in the distance, I think. Yeah, right there. Watch me blow up right before I get to it. Ah. Hydrofficial intelligence. Oh, I killed another civilian. Bad. There are... You do have a break. <laughs> I should probably point this out. There is a break in this game. In fact, there's not only a break, I believe there's a normal break and a hand break. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use either. I actually know what keys they are. One is S, that's the normal break, and I believe spacebar is the hand break. And they help you make these big turns uh, and get, you know, flip your car halfway across the street. There's three civilians. But... I have chosen not to use them, instead relying on my awesome skills of uh, barrier avoidance. I would really like another blue barrel so that I can put this fire out. Tell me if you see one. And then of course smack yourself because this is YouTube and I can't hear Sir, you. The target is approaching. We have a visual on his front okay, there's one. Send Watch, I'm gonna blow up right way. before I get to it. Right, right, right. Data no, I made it sweet. Boom! <laughs> Take that. I love these things. I am smacking these guys all over the place. Boom! I can take M16 fire. Boom! Or whatever uh, automatic weapon that might be you're shooting you with. And I guess the point of the game is you're gonna keep going, you're gonna earn points, you're gonna die. It's one of those games where you repeat it over and over and over, and it's just a time waster. And you upgrade your car until you're finally able to go the entire distance in one run. Now that's one of the things... Ah, oh, there we go, I died. Oh, that time I actually died. Wow, three civilians, 113 point penalty. That is... They're gonna blast me to pieces if I let them. Yeah, yes they are. And I'm gonna let them because I don't like you very much. Jeez, uh, I need 750 points! Even if I didn't lose that, I'd end up at 47, which wouldn't be enough. Oh, I know, it was 113 points, so yeah, I would have had enough. 750 lets you buy something, you know, like this 250, this 250, and uh, something else. Oh, well, I don't care about perception. I want a better bumper. Or do I want a better windshield? See, I can't afford both. Oh, well, let's upgrade the engine and the windshield and see how that works. And hell. And I'm just going to play until the video is... Ah, splatter hits. When you hit someone dead or alive, right in the center of your car and at high speed, you get a splatter hit. They give you extra road point multiplier. Use the horn for easier zombie splatter. Civilians do not give a bonus. As they shouldn't. So yeah, this can get repetitive. I think what would make the game a little bit better is if you were to... Ah, ah! Dang it, I hit a civilian. She's probably going to cost me like a billion points. Oh, that's a splatter death. Uh, we'll talk about you in a second, Radio. In a real quick But yeah, I think it would be better if you had... Boom! Checkpoints. When you get to these checkpoints, I think you should stop there. Oh man, I just drove in right through the side of a bus. How was that? Boom! Boom! 
still on the move. I wonder if those guys can't spawn it. Oh well. Killing them in the few seconds I have left in this video, if you've been hearing the radio, they talk about uh, what's coming up the road and stuff like that. Mostly it's just like the soldiers who are about to kill you. you know, telling the, you hear them say, oh, you must intercept that car, and so then, now you've got soldiers. And that's how those things happen. Hey, you guys are dead. Uh, I want to crash my car and die. Boom! And I'm going to end the video there, so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.